imagine a keyword research tool that can find thousands of keywords based on your C keyword in seconds. And on top of this, help you with keyword clusterings, track specific rankings on specific keywords, and overall make your topical map much more elaborate. This is exactly what Rank Atom can do. So let's dive in and test it. In my most recent video, I also reviewed a tool that could potentially help you build a topical map. And it's the same thing with Rank Atom, but the difference is that Keyword Revealer, which was the previous video, they do it in a visual way, whereas Rank Atom, they do it in a table-wise way. And I feel, and based on my testing, that with Rank Atom, I get many more keywords to work with. And that's why I'm a little bit more excited using Rank Atom. Just to give you some context, then I ran a report using Rank Atom where it found 5,000 keywords based on the C keyword WordPress. So that is super impressive, especially compared to a tool like Low Fruits that found a little bit less than 3,000 keywords. So it'll be interesting to see the quality of all these keywords. And I really want to find out with Rank Atom, can it help me find low competition keywords and can it really help me build my topical map in a much easier way than doing it manually? But Rank Atom consists of three modules with the keyword research module, the rank tracker, and then the bird analysis. And the bird analysis is something unique I haven't seen before. But let's start with the keyword research because I have tried to run a couple of reports and overall, based on the numbers, then it's super impressive with the amount of keywords it finds. And it usually takes a couple of seconds for it to run an entire report based on your C keyword. You can also run it on more low competition keywords, but you get less keywords doing that. But I ran it, as I mentioned, for WordPress, and I looked through the results and compared it to low fruit. And it's clear to me that the quality of the results really varies. Because with low fruit, I get less keywords, but they're much more relevant. Whereas with rank Atom, I get many more keywords to work with but not all of them are super relevant to WordPress in this case. So it's clear to me that they need to work a little bit on their algorithm to make a lot of the keywords much more relevant, which will result in less keywords in the reports, but we rather want quality than quantity when it comes to the keyword research, because it saves us a lot of time that already from the get-go that it has separated all those irrelevant keywords away from our report. But in the report, we have a lot of filtering options and it's basically two layers. First, you can filter whether it's comparison keywords, question keywords, or you just want to see everything. And then you can go a step deeper and filter on search volume, search intent, and even topic. And the topic filter is my favorite filter because this is the way that I can really build my topical map using the topic filter. Because with the topic filter, I can basically filter out all the topics I don't want to focus on and only show the topics I want to focus on. And it's often super easy to take one topic at a time and then add to your Google Sheets or wherever it is that you're building your topical map. And that's the way that I've been trying to do it with Rank Atom. And it's really been an easy way of doing this. But the thing is still that there are a lot of irrelevant keywords that I wish that I could just filter away. But hopefully that's something they will fix in the future by basically tweaking the algorithm a little bit. And what I really like with Rank Atom is that completely free we get search volume in each keyword just compared to low fruits then you have to use a credit to analyze the entire keyword to get search volume you get that here in the entire report for all your keywords but you can take it a step deeper and run a SERP analysis on the keywords so you simply just mark the keywords you want to run this SERP analysis on and then rank as it starts to analyze the specific keywords and see what type of domains are ranking in the SERP on this specific keyword. And then you get all the domain authority for all the domains ranking in the top 10 for this specific keyword. And this will give you an indication whether it's a low competition keyword or a high competition keyword. And it's super relevant for what keyword you choose to pursue first, because of course you want to start with the low competition keyword and then work your way up. And on top of this, then you can click on the keyword and get even more information about the domains that are ranking. You can see what type of ads are running on this specific keyword. You can see related results, people also ask, and much more. So it's really a thorough way of getting an analysis on one specific keyword. And just be aware because each time you analyze a keyword, it costs one credit. But with the keyword research covered, we'll slowly transition over to the rank tracking module. And this is a very simple rank tracking module. And even though the design is super modern and easy to use, 
I wish they would have added some more functionality into this because right now you enter your keyword, you enter the URL that are ranking with this keyword and then the ranking module will find your rank position in the Google SERPs if you're ranking in top 100 and then slowly track whether you're trending up or downwards. So it's a simple rank tracking module. It works as it's supposed to, but it has one incredible feature. And that is that we can go back in time and see how the entire SERP looked like by using the date function. And that is something I don't see every day because often then we can see our ranking historically over time, but we can't see the entire SERP. And I think that's super interesting because then we can see if other domains are trending upwards, maybe they have done something we want to get inspired by. So I think that's really interesting. I hope they will see if they can analyze based on all of this data and then see what is working what changes has websites done to trend upwards and then suggest us to do those changes as well. That would really be a game changer. But as mentioned, I hope they will expand this module and maybe make an integration to Google Search Console so they will automatically find keywords that we could potentially track, but also automatically find the pages ranking for specific keywords. It would also be a way for us to find whether we are doing cannibalization on the keywords as well. So there are a lot of opportunities here that I hope that we'll see in the future. And when you're writing content for a specific keyword, you want to make sure that you're covering the keyword from all angles. And this is where the bird analysis comes in. Because the bird analysis is basically a way of seeing your keyword or your question from all angles. So the way it works is that you enter your query or your question, and then the bird analysis will run a SERP analysis and find every relevant content piece to your search query and show you specific paragraphs that are relevant that you need to make sure that you cover. So you get a long list of basically paragraphs that you can go through and make sure that you're covering. But I also found that a lot of the paragraphs were redundant or just didn't make sense. So it's a great module and I really understand the idea with it, but it's still a long way to go before it's really production ready. For example, I ran a query of how to find long tail keywords and it showed me that a long tail keyword often consists of two words or more. I need to focus on search volume. I need to focus on Google Search Console as well. So it's really showing me all the subjects surrounding my query. But again, there are a lot of fluff in there that they need to basically find a way to separate away. So we only get the paragraphs that we really need to focus on. And it's just a much more productive way of working with the bird analysis. But to answer my questions from the introduction, yes, Rank Atom is an incredible tool to both find low competition keywords and to build a topical map. Because while you're building the topical map, you automatically find all these low competition keywords. And I think that's an incredible way, especially when you use all the filters that Rank Atom offers. And the way that it finds all these keywords is using Google Auto Suggest. And that's why we can get so many keywords. But that's also the reason why sometimes we get keywords that just doesn't make sense at all. That's because of Google Auto Suggest. But overall, Rank Atom is a great tool if you're looking to build a topical map because you get all the keywords that you need for your topical map. One thing with Rank Atom that I was really wondering about is that they don't have a top-up system where you can buy extra credits. You have to sign up for a subscription plan. And right now they start at 39 US dollars where you get 5,000 credits and that is a lot because it only costs one credit to run a report and then it costs one credit if you want to analyze one keyword. Of course, if you want to analyze a lot of keywords, then fast you will have to upgrade to another plan but I think it's a decent start using Rank Atom on the 39 US dollar plan. For the future, then I know that Rank Atom, they're working on a competitor analysis and a website age domain filter. So you can use even more filters in the keyword research phase. And then overall, they're just trying to make the experience of using Rank Atom better. And I reached out to the founder, Krishna, from this Rank Atom tool on Twitter, and he's super helpful. He's been building Rank Atom publicly on Twitter for three months now. And now he's finally releasing it and it's an incredible start for him. And I'm really curious to see how far he will take Rank Atom. But Rank Atom is definitely made for people who want to achieve topical authority or are looking for a different approach to doing this keyword research because it's so easy to both find low competition keywords using this method, but also to build a topical map. And overall, my experience of Rank Atom is that it's an incredible tool to use and I want to give it four stars. Overall, the design is great, but they still need to tweak the algorithm so we can spend less time filtering away all those irrelevant keywords. 
And then the competitor analysis, when they add that and all of the other filters they're working on, then it will be an even more incredible tool. But if you want to see the tool that I mentioned at the beginning, where you can build a topical map in a visual way, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.